I was growing up, I was always fascinated by images, drawing, paintings, and things like that. I have the Kingo strip that I do, that is what I started with. And the main thing with that is to make, give people laughter, give people a smile. My work has to promote justice, has to. So I, I believe that has been an overriding theme in everything I, I try, even if I draw a funny cartoon. 15, 20 years ago, Kingo had, um, Kingo Magazine, our magazine, had more than 30 competitors on the market. So you can, you can understand how, how big comic and, 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 and cartoons um, uh, were considered in this country. Due to the decline of, 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 um, of newspapers, number one, publishing suffered a lot. Um, so automatically, you know, cartoonists and artists uh, find themselves, uh, you know, looking for other alternatives to, to sort of sustain themselves. I have been always looking at that. How can I sustain myself? I observed the uh, trend that probably publications were not going to last for a long time. So I started looking for means to sort of um, syndicate my cartoons which is really is a blessing that I'm the only one who is currently almost uh, you know publishing in more than six newspapers in you know in Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, Zambia and Namibia at some point. Even with that there was a challenge because I was not good at international language. I was I couldn't speak English then, I could not. So I had to come up even the choice to make a Kingo cartoon a silent humor cartoon was motivated with that. I want to be, uh, um, you know, independent and self-sufficient. And the only way was to increase the number of subscribers and be accepted by many newspapers. East Africa has a lot of cartoonists and, 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 and comic artists that I really, really, really admire. And even when I was growing up as an artist, I have learned a lot from them. People like, you know, uh, Mado in, in Kenya, very creative people, Gado, I mean, uh, James Tumsi. One of the reasons why people liked it is, is because they communicated things they are familiar with. Africans should consume more things that they can relate. When the world is looking for new stories, um, I think uh, every uh, uh, creative in Africa, leave alone cut cartoon in cartoons in, in art in many 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 form has a chance of you know um, capturing the, the attention of the world you can't avoid the the the, the role of, um, of 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 digital in uh, in the creative industry we syndicate um, this cartoon to almost um, um, seven newspaper in in different countries we when we were Digital, we are analog, I mean, having a pile of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, a stack of a batch of cartoons, sending it to Zambia, and sometimes they get lost. And, uh, but now, I mean, you, it's just a matter of minutes. Once you're done, you send it digitally. Digital in terms of publishing has been quite significant. Now every cartoonist, every creative has a platform to sort of publish. You know, you can publish it on social media before if an editor uh, 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 turns down your, your cartoon, you're done, you have no place to showcase your work. You can make your drawing, you can have your idea, you can make your painting, and you can put it on social media. That has been, uh, to me, the biggest role as far as technology is concerned. I draw things that I think they are funny to me. Seeing the audience receive and appreciate it is something that I, 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 I really enjoy.